The only thing I remember is being told that you wipe until the paper's clean. How many wipes is that for you usually? It depends. Oh, how many rolls do you mean? There's sometimes it's a miracle no wiper, right? Uh, yeah, right. those are a total miracle. Allow me to uh, introduce everybody. My name is Woody. That is Greg Gorey. Good morning, Woody. Menace, good morning to you. Good morning, Woody. We have Seabass. Yeah. Sammy is here. Good morning. And uh, we made the announcement earlier on this morning, but uh, our newest full-time member to the Woody Show crew is Gina Grad. Good morning, Gina. Good morning. Hey. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Please, please, everybody sit down. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Gina is now officially here and part of the show. And it was, uh, it was really an easy decision uh, for me. You know, I, I am just a, uh, I'm a prepper. I am yeah. always, I am always prepared should a need arise. And, uh, you know, being in this position on the show, uh, that's just what uh, comes with the job. It's part of the, uh, part of the, what comes with the territory, as they right. say. And so uh, it's a, it's just a whole thing about like, well, if, if somebody ends up uh, leaving or gets hit by a bus or whatever the case might be, who would be that person? And um, actually, you know, I've, I've known of, of Gina for a long time. But it wasn't until I was a, a guest on the Adam Carolla show where Gina was Adam's co-host for eight years yeah. where I really got to see her like in action. I've heard the show, obviously, but really to watch the way she worked and get to talk to her a little bit. And I'm like, huh. Mm. So I kind of filed that away in the back of my mind, as I do with a number of people, you know, like, oh, this person might be good for this yeah. down the road or yeah. uh, this person might be good should, you know, somebody ever just decide to up and leave or, you know, whatever. And so. Uh, it just uh, it was just uh, really fortunate for us that she was available and we had her in and, you know, she was uh, I don't want to call it auditioning. But we just want to kind of see like how the how the chemistry was with everybody. Bye. And so now uh, Gina and all her. But she's so weird, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The more she's you get weird. to know her, the more weird you really find it. Because she seems like this like classy chick. Oh, you know what I mean? You. Yeah. Like sure. you look at her mm-hmm. and you're like, oh, OK. She just seems kind of normal and classy. Yeah, just oozing with class. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah. <laughs> And then you realize like all this stuff about her, like Greg, you would die. Maybe not right now. What did she do? No, the, just the way she keeps her car. Yeah. Well. Oh yeah, you did. It's one of those. Peop- she's one of those people that just keeps it a mess. Yeah. That's like an not insane okay. person. I'm trying to turn over a new leaf because I have a rental right now, and I'm trying to practice taking in things when I'm like pull into my driveway, Greg. <laughs> But uh, yeah, otherwise it's just a mobile like closet and a mobile kitchen. Is it a mobile garbage can? <laughs> mobile garbage can. Oh, this, <laughs> yeah. Like if you peeked is, inside of it, not, not now because it's the rental. Yeah. yeah. And you, but which before, you care more about apparently. Library. Mm-hmm. But before she got in that, uh, that accident, yeah. got rear-ended and had to put the... It, now, but when you sent the car to go get fixed, did you leave all that crap in there or yeah. did you clean it out before? I, I, I think I got a garbage bag and hauled some of it inside, wow. but then the rest was like a little fun Easter egg hunt for the dudes at the shop. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, just yeah. Greg, you would have a heart so, attack. Do you not believe in like clean surroundings give you a clean mind? Like it, it I believe in it, it but that doesn't mean I can accomplish it. Uh. I was always the kind of kid where like if I couldn't see it, I'd yeah. start to freak out. So I was just like a little mole in my bedroom. It was just like piles yeah. and mo- like my mom would call me like you're like a mole, <laughs> and I've tried to get better. And and Woody, like this is the better version. As an wow. adult. So, like, I've never seen your house. It's pretty clean, but I'm not the only one who lives there. Like, somebody right. does the bulk of that work. My husband. Right. But, I mean, do you, like, are you disorganized at home? Oh, yeah. The kitchen is, like, perfect. But other than that, I can't, I'm, I can't be left in charge. It's not my thing. So, hmm. you just make piles? Yeah. Kind of like a piler? Yeah. Okay. But All my right. also, my favorite show is Hoarders. <laughs> it's not for yes. tips. It's to see that there are people worse than me, and then I feel better about myself, and then totally. I don't have to do anything about it. Oh. It's uh, like the Lizzo approach to right. being fat. <laughs> yeah. My 600-pound yeah, yeah, life. Don't you really just uh, lean into it. Don't, exactly right. Don't wow. change what I do. Just justify <laughs> no. it. Right. Yeah, yeah right. just see everyone who's well, beneath me. Yeah, yeah. Just lower uh, the bar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll say that every once in a while. I'll see someone who's like way worse than yeah. I. Like, see, at least I'm not that big. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> I do right. That all the time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I know people who do that with intervention. I like uh, my favorite show when I'm trying to relax is uh, Love After Lockup. I've seen the preview. I've It's amazing. It so uh. obviously, all these dudes are just trying to like bilk these lonely chicks for you know canteen money. But then we see if <laughs> they have what uh, they can go to the distance after the guy gets sprung, and they rarely do. What? Okay. It's awesome. I'm trying to think of so like you know what would be the weirdest thing about the you? Weirdest thing? Yeah, well, like the weirdest I, thing that you do. I mean, everybody's got maybe something weird that they do. Like you know, well, we were talking about how loading the dishwasher. Like Greg and I will 
clean basically, everything basically, basically before we wash it. Yeah, yeah no, the, no, no, the dishwasher wait, wait. becomes like the sanitizer. Yeah, the secondary. You guys yeah. have a dishwasher? You don't have a dishwasher? No. Oh. We live in like oh. a farmhouse. Oh. Okay. I've, I'm okay. the dishwasher. And not like the cool modern farmhouse. No. <laughs> not like restoration <laughs> hardware yeah, yeah. now. Right. Uh, that's, wow, you guys are really moving up. Yeah. Okay. We made it. You did. <laughs> uh-huh. um, I told you about my inverted nipples. Uh, well, I already have to apologize to you guys because a lot of times during the morning I'll do this. Yeah, what is? Oh, that? yeah, that yeah. noise that she yeah. makes. Constant. What, what it sounds. It's you know, it sounds like an oinking pig. Yes. Yeah. It's. I'm trying to like, like scratch like the like my ear canal in between like my throat and my ear, and everyone in my family does it. But what and, do you do? Are you are, are you like inhaling air? Or no. Are you, like, are you just yeah. like forcing? I'm just like, closing my like soft palate and then like sucking it apart. Like what? <laughs> I don't even know like like, what, like to even try to do that like it's what not, I would do. It's not great. I know it's not. It, the, what like compels to, you to do that when you have an itch? Yeah, yeah. Are like you in, trying in to breathe out throat. through your ears? Kinda? No, I can't explain it. It's just mm. it just is. And then I do the sound again. <clears throat> yeah, like we'll, yeah. we'll be sitting here like you know everybody's doing uh-huh. something during yeah. a commercial break or a song's playing and stuff. All yeah. of a sudden, that uh-huh. noise does that. Yeah. But it's also a tick because I feel so bad about it. So it's usually, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> <So> <laughs> and are you so you're doing bizarre. that with, with your tongue? <laughs> no, it's like the it's like my throat. throat. I'm like suctioning my throat. Oh, okay. I'm a great date. <laughs> um, and then the oh, speaking of that, the other thing is I have like very very real penis envy, but I do not have testicle envy. Okay. I wish I could just have a penis. Okay. Well, it's kind of like I've talked about a vagina. Like they asked that question, like, well, if you were a woman for a day, right? You know, what would you do if you were a guy for a oh, day? Oh, dude. All right. So if you had a penis for one day, what would you do? I would, I would literally stick it in every available orifice. <laughs> okay. See, that's kind of like what I was saying. If I had a vagina for a day, I'd be putting everything up there. That's right. Just <laughs> like, to try it. Like coin and most guys yeah, like a, like a set of keys, uh, a table leg. Right. You yeah. Know, like, where like a, do yeah, you I'd flip a it? chair upside down to start sitting on stuff. It's random broom. I know you yeah. guys like right, couch a, cushions. Where else would I put it? Uh, toilet uh, paper rolls. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, cantaloupe. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think soft and warm. Women. Okay. Women, How right. Yeah, <laughs> think about that. Uh, how about that? <laughs> Mouths. Yeah. That's just like a lot of pressure. I mean, like, <laughs> other right. men's. If I was a lady for the day, I would get some free drinks. Am I right, guys? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm trying to think, where have I not put it that I would want to? Yeah, give me a list. Cause, yeah, because if you want to, you just would. <laughs> yeah. Um, you guys have it so good. Oh, my sister does that exact thing. She's got food allergies in her throat and her ears are always itchy. Oh, see? Yeah. I, I can't explain it. My it mom just... scratches her throat like that. Gina, I 100% scratch my ears like that. I've never heard anybody else do it. Thank you. I and do it's... the same thing. Itchy ears. I Thank always you. do that. I scratch uh, my throat and my ears. You're not alone. I don't feel alone anymore. I've never heard it before, Me though. neither. And I was like, what the hell is she doing? And I love that it's all women, because it's such a weird noise for it a woman. It is. You said your mom does it? My dad and my... It, we, we They called it the grad boy itch, because all the grad boys huh. did it, but I as well. Uh, pe- apparently, cokeheads do that. Oh, oh really? uh, yeah. six six one <laughs> post nasal drip. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay, interesting. A lot of people do that. Uh, it's you know to scratch your throat and your ear canal. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I've never put it that I would. Uh, oh, va- okay. Yeah. Vacuum hose. Oh Ooh, yeah, that, that's yeah. too scary. Like a yeah. big shop vac. Yeah. You won't get it back. Um, it, it would not be good. Yeah. Have you, you tried it? That sounds like a guy who's tried it. No, it's I've thought about it, of course, because <laughs> yeah. you know you're like, oh, what would that, that be like? Well, well, but I'm afraid it would get more than. Just the you know, well, we right. go so far. Yeah, Brett just bought that shop back. Let's just yeah. put it in. <laughs> let's just try. It. They need like a little one horsepower yeah. shop back, something that's yeah. not going to yeah. rip it off. Has anyone ever legit tried a flashlight? Menace. No, I have a flashlight. Uh, no. I have. Okay, and Menace, yeah. Menace gave it to me. What? Really? Yeah. yeah. Does it live up to the hype? Yes. Okay. Does it? A hundred percent. Really? It's, it's, it's expensive, and you have to get rid of it. Yeah. The, the yeah. thing that would be weird to me would be like the cleanup. Nobody has a follow-up that Menace gave me one? <laughs> no, and I know why. Oh, okay. He was working with that chick for a while. Right, yeah. okay. Who sex- always had a ton of sex toys. <laughs> oh, dude, she I figured a, you thought, oh, Christmas. She has no. a closet. Because people always wonder, like, how do you know so much about sex toys? Uh, because, yeah, I used to be part of the uh, Sex with Emily podcast, and it's still going on. But when you go to her studio... She has a closet and you open it and it has like every single thing you can think of. Wow. And yeah, she had a ton of flashlights and she's like, oh, bring this into 
work and give it to people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they'll love it. That won't get yeah. you reported to HR. <laughs> Here, have it. Well, at least not with Greg. Yeah, no. would you like to borrow so, it? So, Greg, when you had the flashlight, yeah. you're like, what just made you say, oh, let's go try this out? Because well, why not? Why not? Because like, it was just like get, a low You get a, No, I... I I didn't say I was alone. <laughs> Far from it. <laughs> and it, it was really Wait, so you had somebody really use the flashlight on you? Or with somebody? Yeah, you, yeah, supplementing it with other things. But there's already somebody there. Like, they have things. No, I understand that. So do women. So do yeah, so does everybody. Everybody true. has other that's things. That's the point of the flashlight is, hey, no one else is around. Well, true, but I... Sorry, Greg's not lonely. I, I don't like to <laughs> Well, no, the difference alone. is because it's two dudes. Sometimes, like, you use the sex toy, sure. man and woman, because the woman takes longer to, right. Right. you know, or can only, you know, yeah. uh, with... Uh, yeah, I had data. can't, can't uh-huh. with internal, can only with external. True, mm-hmm. which I learned more recently is like uh, the more common thing. Absolutely, like you exter- just learned that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, like, <laughs> Where did you think? You okay. No, what, what do you mean? <laughs> Where did you think? Well, I, I thought was? like you know it would either no 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 I thought it would either be like you could either from internal or external stimulation. Yeah, mm-hmm. like either way, you know. Both. Yeah, I didn't realize I, I didn't realize that there were a number of women who. You can go. You can go at it all day. Yeah. The yeah. just just the internal stimulation won't do it. <laughs> right. I know guys yeah. like to think that, but yeah, uh, no, that really isn't a thing. I don't okay. think. All right. Well, at okay. least well, in my guess experience. what? I just learned that not that long ago. Huh. I understand. Woody's not very experienced. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say you're with a lady. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. But and, but, and, but she only really works one way. What? You're, you're like the the lady he's with uh, has she has her thing. Right. Yeah, 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 well, yeah. What mm-hmm. he's saying is there's all these other and, options. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, he knows it works for her, right, right, bro? Yeah, right. Oh yeah, <laughs> bro. Absolutely. She's very satisfied. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't get those guys who like you know. Well, I got mine. Yeah. Like, dude, you're not going to get repeat business that way. That's exactly. <laughs> you right. know what I mean? You got to keep yeah. the customers happy. Thank you. Right. But anyway, the flashlight that might be worth trying. <laughs> try it. Yeah, just to see. You, you got any more, Menace? You got any more in that you closet? Get you one? I know. Like, how do you? <laughs> I mean, you yeah. can open get ones that, that look like. <laughs> let's, let's do it. Let's like do a drive. Monster energy and, drinks and not take advantage. Yeah. You know? Let's do a. Let's do like a Woody show like uh, a yeah. test. Go we, play a long song. Yeah. We'll, yeah, yeah. All right. I'll go to the uh, Sex with Emily <laughs> office and we'll raid the closet. Let's raid it. Yeah. All right. Eight seven seven forty four. Woody. What's something weird about you? Like Gina does this weird throat noise. She also writes weird. She holds her yeah. paper completely yeah. at a ninety degree angle in the yeah, wrong way, and then yeah, curves the wrong her way. hand around. I do. All right, so we're uh, welcoming Gina Grad as a full time member of the Woody Show, starting today. In fact, I think the uh, the press release went out. It did. Oh. Really oh, did. I just saw it. Oh, you yeah. did? Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. It's official. Your In the picture train. looks so good. Oh. Yeah, we had to do a photo shoot, you guys. I right. know. That was so weird. Uh, I, I, only saw, I only saw one picture from it. Uh, really? The one I saw was nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. I only saw one. It's the group photo. I thought it would just be Gina. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah, oh, that's cute. Look all in black. See. Let me see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, well, it's slimming, you know? Yeah, Different yeah. color denim. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> denim, denim, denim. <laughs> denim, denim, denim. Anyway, Gina does a lot of weird things. That yeah. I'm telling you, did you look at the text? Did we set you up on that? Yeah. Okay, did you see the text? Like, how many people are hitting us up saying that they do the same thing? The same itching. Thing. She I does feel... this weird noise every oh. once in a while here in the studio that we just, you know, <clears throat> never heard before. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like an oinking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel so seen and so heard by this yeah. audience. And everybody does it. A ton of people on the text saying that they do the same thing or they know somebody does the same thing. Yeah. It itches your throat slash oh, your ear. It's the best. And I'm being validated right and left because people are pouring in to say, uh, Greg, is she a lefty? Because lefties do that I weird thing. I see the same text. That oh, a that lot was the, of, yeah. A lot of lefties write the way you do. But I never <laughs> just saw the paper at such a severe angle. Yeah, yeah. you got to go full yeah. 90 degrees and then curl your right. hand around. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> Text says they have too many weird things to list, but they still avoid cracks. You know, like they won't step on cracks and sidewalks. Break your mother's back? Yeah, I mean, nobody ever really thought that was going to happen, but like, I'm I'm pretty much the same way. Why? With avoiding cracks? Yeah. See, I count steps between cracks. I do that too. I do that too. Or I just count steps. Right. Yeah. Count steps, like from the garage at work. Just in general, I count steps. And a lot of times it's just to four. And then I start over. I just count to four continuously. Wow. I have no idea why. What's the, uh, the psychopath? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's there's a number of weird things about Sammy. But That's what would you say is your weirdest? Uh, the bacon thing? She's that like one is of the only people weird. I know that doesn't like bacon. It's what? a genetic bacon. defect, I think. Yeah, she hates I, the smell I hate of it. The smell of bacon. I really don't like bacon, and I want to love it because so many people do, and it is somewhat disruptive to my life that yeah. I don't like it. It's the candy of meats. I think it's mm-hmm. disgusting. 
Uh, and I wish I, I wish I liked it, but do you eat turkey bacon? No. Wow. So no, no bacon of it. No. Yeah, but you think it's like a genetic thing, like with me with cilantro, it tastes like soap. Right. Like yeah, but I've never yeah. heard of anybody. I've heard the cilantro thing. Yeah. Or there's but a genetic the, thing. Yeah, where exactly. Like right. Just to you, different. people who have that, it all for all those people. I've never people that don't like they don't prefer bacon for whatever reason. Like sometimes it's religious. They sure. don't. Like, right. There's a you know like uh, you know Jewish uh, people they yep, don't no pork. Right. No pig. Pig's a dirty animal. You know things like that. But I've never heard where it's like oh. I have this genetic thing that makes it mm-hmm. taste rotten. It doesn't taste rotten. I feel the same way though that you do about coffee. You know, like oh. so for me, I want to like coffee. But you say I've it tried it puke. a thousand different ways, and for whatever reason, if I ever ingest poison, all you gotta do is give me like a sip of coffee or a coffee flavored chocolate or ice cream or anything coffee flavored, and it's immediately. Bleh. It's the flavor that you don't like. It, it must be because yeah. wow. you like the smell. I love the smell. Yeah, me too. I bought a coffee pot one time when I was a single guy. And it's set up every morning, the brew coffee, just so I can wake up with that smell in the house. And I come downstairs, I pour it out and go to work. Wow. <laughs> that is insane. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it wasn't expensive coffee. It was the cheapest crap I could find. It's, it was just so something would brew. Smell. It's kind of brilliant. Oh, I've never that's had weird. a full See, that's cup weird. of coffee that's before, very so I get it. But, yeah. but I might start doing that and just dump it. The other weird thing that I do, apparently, that's uh, super weird is I, I stand to wipe. Yeah. 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 I mean, you've gotten some support on the text yeah. for that. Yeah. From fellow weirdos. Have but you I'm, I'm that told way? I'm I'm told that's weird. Huh? Have you been doing that since you were like a kid? Yeah, I didn't know that uh-huh. you, you did it any other way. Like, oh. <laughs> it's uh-huh. the weirdest. And I was never taught. It was just like, oh, you wipe your butt. You yeah. weren't taught? No, I don't remember yeah. being taught to wipe. Does anybody remember getting potty trained? I don't. I don't. But there's a bunch of fo- uh, videos online. Photos, now. a bunch of photos, photos, huh? photos <laughs> and video actually of uh, kids in like grade school learning to wipe. They sit in those chairs and it's they have cute. like. The balloons. Yeah, balloons. <laughs> really? Oh. Yeah. Super cute. <laughs> I guess it was a thing. Like people were never taught, so now they're teaching in school. Yeah, you should have been taught. Yeah, mm. and not like no, maybe not at school. Yeah. I remember already being potty trained and like, but still calling for my mom to wipe. Mm. The only thing I re- the only thing I remember is being told <laughs> that you wipe until the paper's clean. Sure. Right. And that's right. it. How many wipes is that for you usually? It depends. Oh, how many rolls do you mean? <laughs> well, no, because it, 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 it depends. Sometimes it's a miracle no wiper, right? Uh, yeah, right. those are a mer- total miracle. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah. Like, what happened? Man, it's what's the weirdest thing about you? Um, It's a kind of an ear thing as well. Um, So, you know, I love cracking every bone in my body. Same. I can even crack my nose yeah. and all that kind of stuff. But just by thinking about it, I can crack the inside of my ear. By and I, thinking about it? Just by thinking about it. And I've able to like record it with my iPhone before, but I don't know if our microphones are sensitive nah. enough. Please. Probably, uh, probably me, not. I think we've, I think we've on. tried it here and you can't okay. hear it. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm going to turn, my, his, I'm gonna turn okay. his microphone way up. Hold on. All right. Can you hear it? No. Mm-mm. Oh, man. But I can no. see something moving. Okay, okay try again. Oh, hold on. No. Nothing? Oh, <laughs> no, I can't no. hear it. No, yeah. But I think I think I've heard it in person. Well, so yeah, how is it that you think about it? You're not doing anything. You're not like, like moving your any kind of like nothing. flex um, of a thinking of, about of your it. Ear. And it happened once after um, I went to the doctor when I was a kid and got some ear drops put in my ear. And then ever since then, I could do this like weird cracking noise in my ear just by thinking about it. It's odd. I'll record it. Maybe we'll do like today in audio. Huh. Well, I'll record it with my iPhone because the iPhone will will pick it up when I put it right next to it. Somebody said, my weird thing when I'm taking my clothes off, I always take them off right side in and half fold them before tossing them into the hamper. Uh-huh. My husband thinks that's weird. That's, right side in. That is weird. Why would you fold them before tossing them into a hamper? I don't know. I say that drives me nuts. Because like, my wife, state? my kids, like they won't turn stuff back right side out. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Before they That's, put it into the hamper. Yeah, Mario so inevitably, does that. This is why I stopped folding the clothes. I'll take my stuff out of there because it's ready to go, ready right. to be folded or put away, hung up. But like my wife's, my kid's stuff, Everything's socks inside are out. inside out. Ugh. Shirts are inside out. Yeah. And I, I'm not, I'm not going to flip them back in the other way. You're not? But no, you I'm wash not doing them that. Because, out. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be washed. Huh? You're yeah. supposed to wash your clothes inside out. Says who? Well, it's Wait, everyone like, knows that. But also, we're also talking about people here who do like a load of whites and a load of darks. We put everything in the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you put, put it, it on cold, put it on good. extra cold. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you're good. Huh? 
I, yeah, I don't, and it's just an extra step. It I sucks. thought doing it right side out is what you do when you fold it. That's just part of the folding process. No, I want things coming out of the dryer. They're already mm-hmm. ready to fold, exactly. ready to hang up, okay. and that's it. So I don't, a whole I don't, extra step. I'm not turning everything back the right side out. No, oh. not doing that. No. <laughs> I do. <laughs> that's exactly well, maybe, what I do. Well, maybe is that because like uh, chick stuff has like sequins and like all the kind of like, it's yeah. all things are like yeah. It's not like just plain yeah. bric a brac. Well, it's like, delicate. Do you think it has to do with sometimes if there's like graphics on stuff right, or like other kind of things? Yeah, so it can't like there. get on other stuff. And I thought it had to do with like. I don't know. Fading. Yeah, or exactly. Other things. Color fading. Yeah. Uh-huh. You're supposed to always turn your jeans just buy a new out. shirt. Yeah. You are? Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh. I never do that. Never done that. Okay. No. And what? you're still here to tell the tale. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, our clothes are still alive. Yeah. <laughs> Greg, what would you say is the weirdest thing that you do? I just realized I've never shared this with you because there's never been a reason to, but I think I have a physical thing that is weirder than Gina's throat thing. Bring it And on. that's why I want to share it because may, I might be the only person on earth. Have you ever gone to the doctor, you have to do a urine test, but you don't really have to pee? I discovered something that makes me pee. And it's if I, like, if I'm, when I'm standing and I take my hand and right at the top of my butt crack. Like your coin slot? Right, right your above tramp it. tramp stand yeah. area? Right above it. Yeah. Just kind of gently rub it or tickle it. Like, really? Just That'll make you pee? And then it's just like. And I can pee. Are you peeing really? right now? Really? No. Uh, no, well, I'm not really trying to do it. <laughs> Greg, just I Just a slight little. An ex-boyfriend used that was the only way he could pee. Really? He would, stand, he would take his whole pants down uh-huh. instead okay, that's of the, weird. the zipper it's so and weird. do that. And I don't know how I even discovered it. It must have been during a urine test or whatever. <sighs> I judge people that like a dude that drops his pants to his ankles to pee. <laughs> that's like, like a little boy. Three-year-old would do. Yeah, like a little boy. Men take all his clothes I'm, to poop. <laughs> that's yeah, that's, but little, but that's weird to too. Pee, but like though. a grown-ass man yeah. dropping their pants to their ankles to it. pee. That they, is talk about kindergarten they, behavior. They went to a, a certain area of the so club, weird of the school. <laughs> that's right. To take their classes <laughs> on the short bus. They arrived. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Remove the helmet, take the pants Right, down. exactly. <laughs> the whole process. <laughs> so we learned a couple weird things about our newest full-time cast member, Gina Grad. And then we went around the room, we were talking about different things, but uh, I kind of saved what I would think would be the best for last. See, Bass, of all the weird things that you do, like what would yeah, you what say? isn't weird? Like if you had to self-identify, like... What's the weirdest thing about you? Yeah, I'm trying to think of something that's like maybe more of a physical deformity or thing, you know, like Gina's throat clearing. Or something that you yeah. do, like... Yeah, because all, all my stuff is behavioral, but it's all very smart and efficient and based on uh, right. science <laughs> and so right. and logic. I guess probably in order of your discovery on the show, and I didn't even do this till I started the show. I was like, one day I was like, why am I carrying change around? Oh, that okay. just goes on the ground outside, Gina. If, if, what if, if, he, I, if he's given change, what right, if what I do, do, do use cash? It? Although, don't you keep quarters? There, I keep. I have like three quarters in my car in case of a, a, a parking meter. Most of those are cars now anyway, so who cares? Yeah, that's true. Um, obviously, the... Uh, pooping the, in the shower. The, yes. The, and it's not... Again, I want to clarify. Oh, boy. I'm not pooping in the shower. I'm pooping in While the... While in the shower. I'm pooping into the sewer just like the rest of you people do. I just take a different route. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I, true. I don't think they're, they're, it's to handle that. I don't... Gina, this is correct, and it is, it's been addressed. Yes. Okay. okay. It's a different size pipe. However, uh, the way mine's set up, I'm on an upper floor of an apartment building. Industrial. It's not industrial. Again, it is two inches, and this is why I'm campaigning to increase the size <laughs> of, because it's a two uh-huh. incher. It should be a four incher. You know, people, we, it, it is cleaner. It's more, it's, the, the poop doesn't go on the floor. Doesn't it reek even more, doesn't though? It doesn't reek. Because if you it fart reeks, yeah. in less. the shower, it re- it's worse. I, see what you, I hear what you say, Greg. It, it reeks less than really? a than a than a toilet poop. We gotta figure he's like maybe in a single family home or something like that. But he's in an apartment mm-hmm. building. Everything's getting like washed down. Right. Yes, it's so. like, mo- sure. what floor? Like how many floors up are you? So like, five floors up. Okay. Yeah. yeah it's so. a, that's a straight shot. Yeah. And it, but yeah, Greg, I I thought that too. It might yeah. stink, but it could because in a toilet, it's, and then it's under the water, which I get. It, it so we have to pick center. one thing. The weirdest thing about you I mean, or that you do. Obviously, it's the pooping in the shower. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but it's done for a good purpose, and yeah. and, and you didn't bring I mean, up waffle and, stomping because it's an open hole. It's an open hole because he took yeah. the thing off the, right. the, the, the drain. Yeah. It's just a big open it. drain. Yeah. Yeah. Remember this fifty years from now. Yeah. Oh, remember right. that guy on the yeah. radio? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That? he was the an genius. innovator, yeah. <laughs> forward thinker. All right. More Woody shows next. Coming up next on the Woody Show.